Take it easy. The statue is so pretty. Is that what the Pyro Archon is like? You betcha. Beautiful, effortlessly confident, and absolutely awesome. Oh, since we're here, you might as well go get your shiny new elemental powers, Traveler. Huh? You can get elemental power from the Statue of the Seven? Oh, just you watch, Kachina. for nothing. No, no, it's all right. If anything, I'm even more curious now. Were you really able to gain elemental powers just by touching the Statue of the Seven? That's something only vision bearers can use. you show me? Only if you want to, I mean. No pressure. Take it away, Traveler! Still just Geo. Anyway, I was right! You really are something special! Adventures. Whoa! What's that? Oh, that's a cuckoo soar. They fly high and fast, and they're always full of energy. first saw Devalin. We've come so far. Oh, before I forget, we've got a pretty long trek ahead of us, so here, take this. They look like shiny little gems, don't they? 
Don't be fooled, though. <laughs> it's actually candy. My mom made them. I always bring a few when I know I'm going to be out and about for a while. A little boost of sugar can really come in handy in a pinch. on me. I'm sure they'll come in handy at some point.
Sound. Great idea! All this sightseeing is making Paimon hungry. Oh, are you all out of candy? I've got some more if you want. I've also got bread, drinks, fried rice, roasted apples. Whoa, you're practically a walking cafeteria! I just like bringing a lot of stuff with me. As my mom always says, it pays to be prepared. They only come in handy every so often. <laughs> but hey, better late than never, right? Huh? Is everything okay, Traveler? Seems like you've got something on your mind. Yeah, that was so weird. It has to mean something, don't you think? Actually, you know what? It could be because our Archon is different from the rest. Different how? Well, I heard that other nations' Archons live a long time and belong to a class of extremely powerful beings known as gods. And that's not the case in Natland? Not at all. Every Pyral Archon in Natland was an ordinary person before taking on the role. Huh? A human serving as an Archon? Is that even possible? You find it hard to believe too, huh? So that's not normal then? I guess I've just gotten used to how things are here in Natlin. Well, based on what we've seen, that's not usually how it works. It can't be that easy for a human to become an Archon, right? Pretty sure the Pyro Archon's the only one who can answer that. I do know this, though. Even after becoming the Pyro Archon, the person in the position still grows old and requires rest. The Statue of the Seven may look a lot like our current Archon, but that has to be a coincidence. Countless people have held that title over the years. Oh, I should also mention, the pilgrimage is actually how we select the Pyro Archon. Anyone can claim the title, you just have to prove your strength. So the contest is all about how strong you are. That's right. We believe performance in battle is the most comprehensive test for a future Archon. Plus, when someone emerges victorious, it's hard to argue with the results. Our current Archon achieved an overwhelming victory. The result was obvious from the beginning. Don't just take my word for it, though. Even the tribe elders said they've never seen an Archon with such strength before. But it's just as Chief Pakal said. 
Today's limits are tomorrow's breakthroughs. Our future Archons will go from strength to strength. Okay, Paimon's gonna ignore the whole human becoming an Archon thing for now. It's just... If she's really that strong, do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing for us? If we think back to what happened in Inazuma... I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Our Archon's a wonderful person and very welcoming to guests. I think you'll get along great. Yeah, you're right. It's not like we're planning on causing trouble either. It'll all work out. He'll meet her soon enough. All right, Paimon's just about ready to... Huh? What's that? Oh, we call this a phlogiston chislet. Good things happen if you infuse it with phlogiston. Uh, sorry to disappoint, but only people from that land can use that power. lively today. Did the chisel floor you over here? <laughs> oh, so it was just a friendly Saurian. That's right. There's quite a few of them around here, and Toto's the friendliest and gentlest of the bunch. He's always hanging around these parts. I swear he does it just to show off to any outlanders that might come this way. Uh, what does the crouching mean? That's an invitation. He's offering us a ride. Um, Paimon's not so sure about this. It's kind of scary, don't you think? He's huge! Oh, good point. <laughs> you guys have fun with that, then. Paimon will just float alongside. Wow, the sightseeing is even better from up here. The higher the vantage point, the better the view. Are you and Toto close, Kachina? Yep. When I was little, my parents and I went to the Stadium of the Sacred Flame to buy a bunch of different fruits, but the car we were using to transport them flipped over on our way back. Toto wasn't even half his current size back then, but I still burst into tears when I saw him approach. I was afraid he was going to eat all the berries and sunsetias and leave none left for me. In the end, though, he didn't eat a single one, and even chased off a few other Saurians looking to snatch a few for themselves. After that, he used his big head to help get our cart right side up again. I've been bringing him fruit ever since. Oh, and I was the one that named him Toto, actually. With the sheer amount of food he can eat, he pretty much grew like a weed. Before I knew it, he was already this big. The Stadium of the Sacred Flame. You can let us off here, Toto. Thanks for the lift. It's an easy walk from here, so I say we head the rest of the way on foot. 
It'd be quite the trek for Toto otherwise. That's true, especially considering his size. Well, see you later, Toto!